Hello, bonsai starters or uh, new people who would like to get in, into bonsai. Okay, uh, today I'm going to share about uh, sunlight requirements of your trees and water requirements. So, most uh, bonsai starters or new buys would like to put their uh, bonsai inside their living room or inside their sala so the first thing that you should understand about uh, your plants is that your plants need sunlight okay and when when they're put in the uh, in the living room uh, there's a there's lack of sunlight and lack of air movement so so the best thing to do there is you actually you can put some species such as there's a fukin tea inside your living room for just about three days or five days otherwise it will start to weaken and and the thing next that you should do is to ease them out to the sun so if you put it, them uh, inside your living room for just three days you can put them back to the sun and ease them out not uh, instantly back to the sun otherwise it will burn the leaves and probably kill your plant or the least is that some branches can die back so that's it for the sunlight requirement done then I, some questions I get is how often should I I water my bonsai well in my case I water my bonsai uh, at least once a day that's a very thing just one but sometimes twice and sometimes when it's really hot sometimes three times so how do I water them I just spray water like this first I ensure that the roots get a thorough wetting and ensure that water goes down the drainage hole your bonsai pot should have drainage hole when you buy one you have to inspect that there is a large drainage hole and it is well if possible tied to the path as we usually do so that your your bonsai could not jump out from your path okay it has to be tied primarily primarily when the pots are too shallow in this case the rock is heavier than the pattern if this is not tight this can jump out no the other thing that you can do when watering is that you include the, the leaves so okay. when you include the leaves this also cleans your leaves and thus increases your photosynthesis or doesn't hinder your photosynthesis another problem with a bunch is our pests so one one technique that I do is to clean from the underneath that's where the bugs usually hide the aphids and sometimes caterpillars you know so that's that's the way I do it I clean also from the underneath okay. so for so for bonsai beginners uh, these are the specimen that I would recommend you can uh, buy Fokien tea F-U-K-I-E-N Fokien tea or some ficuses now I have another I'll get another model this one is really small it is potted in a ceramic pot so that's the way I water them but sometimes uh, from time to time your soil gets hard you know, and it's very difficult for water to get to the bottom of the pot and so one technique there is to put in a tray put water then put your bonsai in the tray now do not leave it for too long just about five to ten minutes that's okay and if you leave it for too long then that can also cause root trap so in this case the water can flow from the bottom through the drainage or to your soil 
and ensures that your soil gets a thorough wetting. So, this is ideal, no? a shallow container. Otherwise, if it's, it's too deep, that totally submersing your, your bonsai, it could lead also to soil erosion or the soil can float out and, and out of your path and you lose uh, soil. So, so, that's it, no? You have your water in the tray and put your bonsai there for just 5 to 10 minutes. Like that. So, you should ensure this uh, tray dipping, uh, say, once a week. At least once a week. So, it's better if it's uh, twice a week. And the rest of the days, you can just, you know, when they're all over in the garden, then you can just spray. But again, once a week, ensure that this is thoroughly wet by using the dipping technique. So for the large ones, of course, I just, again, same principle, ensure, but since you cannot carry it, you have to clean the underneath as well and the top. So basically, I like that. Okay. So, that's it. Watering and putting your uh, bonsai inside the living room. Again, in summary, when you put your bonsai inside the li living room, if possible, not only not more than three days. And then when you put it out, do not put it instantly direct back to your uh, garden. You have to ease it out and say for the next two to three days, ease them out to the sun so that it will not burn its leaves. Okay. And by the way, when it's back to the garden, you have to let it stay there for a month to regain its energy. Okay. Thank you and good morning.